Good evening, I'm Duke Rood and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Nebraska men's basketball head coach Fred Hoiberg spoke to the media today ahead of the Huskers matchup with Northwestern tomorrow. The biggest storyline going into the game is the injury to Juwan Gary suffered in the overtime loss at Rutgers. The injury was non-contact and had many fans worried until the press conference. scan yesterday we got the result in last night and uh, we feel very fortunate about where things are with him it turned out it's a calf strain and it's going to be a day-to-day -day injury so he feels significantly better today than he did yesterday it was a very scary situation for Juwan I think everybody saw it was a non-contact injury and he felt a pop and obviously thought the worst it was very sore and he couldn't put much pressure on it at that time, uh, our trainer, Andrew McCabe, did an initial, initial evaluation on him and really felt like the Achilles was intact, but we wanted to get a scan just to make sure on it. Uh, he does have, uh, uh, still has quite a bit of soreness in the calf, so he will not play tomorrow, and we'll just take it day by day. If he continues to show the same progress that he's shown the last 48 hours, then uh, you know, hopefully we'll get him back on the court soon. I'm not going to put a time frame on it, but we'll just call it day to day right now. The Huskers face the Wildcats at home tomorrow at 1:15, with coverage starting at 12:15 right here on the Husker Radio Network. Only one Big Ten men's basketball game on tonight, and that is Indiana at number 11 Wisconsin. Other notable games in the country are UNLV at Colorado State and Georgetown at Xavier. There are seven NBA games on tonight, including the Nuggets at the Celtics, Phoenix against the Pelicans, the Heat hosting the Hawks, and the Nets versus the Lakers. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is Hour 1 of Sports Nightly, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here's Mast with the ball, coming to it, Tominaga. Gives on the hash mark, Hoiberg drives the ball, reverse layup on the left hand. Oh my goodness! Circus shot, absolutely! Circus shot by Sammy Hoiberg. She will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Once the screen gets it from Markowski to the right elbow, back out top. Markowski will shoot a three. You betcha! Ties the game! A three-pointer by Markowski off the assist from Hayes. Mast hands it off to Hoiberg, coming right to left, faces up. Throws back to Tommy Naga, got a good look on the way. Got it! Got it! The net hangs up on the rim, it was so pure! Three ball, another CBA three. Casey gives Nebraska the lead. Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key. You betcha. Natalie pots the Big Ten freshman of the week with a triple. On the right side to Hoiberg, right to left, top of the circle, reverses it off the throw. CJ, three is good. Got it. Bang, all right. CJ Wilcher is on fire. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome in. Happy Friday, everybody. We made it through this very cold week. I'm Jessica Cootie and uh, Greg Sharp out again tonight, but I do have some reinforcements. Back again is Damon Binning. And uh, hey, thanks for driving back down and uh, filling in again. I was trying to think of a way I could give you a hard time to start off the show, but... Um, I couldn't really come up with anything good other than had, did you do That's, some research that, that, on, on Hong Kong over that, the last oh, couple yeah, of days? Yeah, what, what, <laughs> looks like we made it. it you, Cole, uh, Duke, you guys are Barry Manilow fans, right? Looks like we, we made, made it. it. Yes. I can't, I can't carry, it's karaoke. What, so we should ask Cole. Cole, when you're actually participating in karaoke, are you just karaoke-ing? Or what's like? I would say karaoke. -ing. You're a -ing. karaoke. Okay. Yeah. So know. since we can't karaoke, -ke. we'll just go with Barry Manilow here. <laughs> oh wow! All right. Well, we got a fun show coming up for you here tonight. David's going to be with us here for the next hour and a half or so. Then we're going to let him get out of here a little early to go watch Caleb play some hoops tonight. Yeah, they've got Omaha South tonight, and we've I've got a split. He. He should be on his official visit this weekend. Yeah, it's the music's blaring. I can hear it. Yeah. I just saw Ryan Callahan Junior and Vince Day Kinta coming up. and a lot of those guys. And yeah, a couple of my guys will be down tomorrow too. But uh, 
with the poor weather, they, they rescheduled. So it would have been okay for them to miss one game, but they rescheduled two more. So this wasn't a good weekend. So I'll be back here a lot of weekends in a row, JC. It's a shame that Sharpie's coming back, but maybe he'll want to hang out with me. I told you that he's out a lot during baseball season. We'll let you come back on during baseball season. Yeah, so from my house, it's only like 37 minutes. Yeah, see? That's nothing. It's pretty quick. Uh, well, we Even got all the snow removal here? I don't know. Well, it's um, a fun show coming up for you because we've got uh, Gary Bargan in hour number two and um, great, great perspective. Some, uh, and you told me he's a great storyteller. He's, so, he's amazing. Yeah, so he, that's a fun conversation. JC, he's so stinking smart. Like, I, I think he's, he's low 80s, somewhere around there. 80, like, and you talk to him, and it's like, no way. He is sharp as a tack. Um, I, I watch, I see him sometimes in Kansas City uh, and regionally uh, because he has grandkids that are the same age as my my son and so i see him at a lot of aau tournaments and it's and it's hilarious i mean you're talking about a guy that has watched summer basketball from 1980 81 to 2023 last year i mean that's what a perspective that is 43 years of watching summer basketball. I, yeah. I can't wait to talk to him about how it's changed. Again, okay, alumni weekend this weekend. A lot of those guys are in town. They're going to do a lot of celebrations around the game tomorrow, 115 against Northwestern. So yeah, we're going to have that conversation coming up for you in hour number two, along with the chat with Billy Andrews, uh, potential, well, she was All-American, but potential first team All-American. She's one of the best hitters in the country and, and Nebraska softball coming in in the top 15 in both preseason polls so far. So it should be a fun softball season. They had media day today, so I got a chance to chat with her but uh, before how, we how cool is it to see coach Ravel like and re it's not reinvent but how about how she just keeps finding ways to compete at different stages in her coaching career yeah, I mean she is unbelievable it's not easy to I mean you know this it's changed so much over the course of when yeah. a lot of these coaches first started and even John Cook I mean we've had conversations I asked Lauren Cook about that at Lauren Cook West back in December about how He's changed. She said, well, he's gotten really soft, you know, but but that's the day and age. And that's how the, the athletes are. And you have to the, the the coaches that are still relevant now that were relevant 20 years ago have kudos because not everybody can evolve and change and still yeah. stay relevant. I mean, you could argue there's a reason why Nick Saban didn't really want to keep coaching at this day and age, right? Harbaugh allegedly doesn't enjoy college and um, it's 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 different, but you know what's funny? It, don't you think deep down, though, people still want to be led, right? You want discipline. Uh, obviously, winning matters, but, like, if you could, you know, I, I, I tell this to, to the guys that I coach all the time. If, if in 2024, this new year, if you just hang in there longer, you'll be okay because now kids are more apt to quit. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much about high-end talent as much as it is about resolve. True. Like if yeah. you just hang in there and it's survival of the fittest, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's true for sure. Well, uh, you just heard uh, Duke had this in the ticker. Huge sigh of relief for Nebraska basketball fans today. The big news, Jawan Gary, not season ending. When he went out, it looked bad. He was distraught when he was taken back to the locker room. And this is a guy that's had so many injuries that have kind of hindered his career and this time a year ago he is going through it and so you could just see he was really really upset and so it led people to maybe think the worst but then you know i had talked about this a little bit last night but i did the tv show with coach hoiberg and he was uh, he was cautiously optimistic still had to go through some testing so really really big news now he won't be available tomorrow but really really big news for this team that Jawan gary is not out for the season i, I think that's where like when you're you're doing the sideline or um for all your other sports with the the way that you pay attention it serves you well because i remember i want to i'll never forget this when billy kemp got hurt and so did anthony grant and i'm watching both through the binoculars that that sharpie fixed for me and i'm like ooh, you know off i'm like you know kemp's didn't look good or did you see the way that anthony grant's knee bent and i listened to you on the sidelines <laughs> 
and you you're very, you won't like give the reports until they're the reports but I'm like gosh that doesn't match what my eyes said so I'm kind of trained to not speculate on air but watching that basketball game it, it was bad it was hard to not think it was like an Achilles right like that's a I thought ooh that's either in his calf or it's an Achilles because it was kind of like that invisible sniper but I'm like no 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 I've, I've seen some things and and when we saw Billy Kim remember that yeah when he was catching punts warming up a couple of weeks later and I'm like how is Kemp gonna play and that was the game that all he did was return he basically fair caught punts but right I thought there was no way and then Anthony Grant came back the next week I'm like, how? So I, I stopped speculating. Well, yeah, and, and there are, it does look different when you see guys that are leaving and it's bad and guys that, because like Billy Kemp, I, I'm pretty sure never, he stayed in his pads until they went back to the locker room in the second half. So you can kind of get a little bit of a sense, but I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to speculate until I know for sure, but I can only just say what I see in here. But, yeah, you would have thought, if I was supporting on the sideline for Jawan Gary, I would have said, it's bad, guys. Back to you. Right? You know, like, uh, doesn't look good. Uh, but, no. And, I, and, they, and they need his toughness, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, until, um, unless, or, it, you know, if Blaze Kata, if he's ever ready, because it's just weird. Nate and, and Fred, those guys, they haven't ruled him out. So you, you, you don't have Blaze and, and, and Rank's coming off. He's not 100%. He's coming off a tough one. You know, arguably yeah. his, his worst one in a while. Um, it could have been pretty doom and gloomy. Like, what would Nebraska, I mean, would you have played Wiltshire at like the four? It, it could have got hectic without Gary. So we're, you are cop, cautiously optimistic. You know, it, I don't. I just got to figure out how to stop Boo Booey. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, I, I don't think. On the, I think they could have figured it out on the offensive end. To me, obviously, the biggest issue would have been on the defensive end because he guards one through five. He gets those tough rebounds. It's just his Allows toughness. Allows him to his switch grit. ball screens. You know, what he, what he brings to the defensive end and what they want to do on the defensive end. I mean, Nate Linzer has sat here every week that he's done the coaches show and talked about he's the defensive captain and he takes a lot of pride in that. When the team doesn't live up to that standard, boy, he takes it personally and he doesn't always care about it. Yes, he scored a lot more, but he does not care as much about getting in on the stat sheet for the offensive stats. I mean, he just he takes a lot of pride on the defensive end. So they, they still are going to have to figure something out because they're going to be without him for at least one game, maybe two or three. You don't know how he'll come along. But so somebody's going to have to step up on the on the defensive end and, and kind of fill that role a little bit, which they did play without in there to start the season. Yeah, I don't. So I and I get it right. It was at, at two different times or two different stretches during that game. You lost 12 point leads and. They went 12 minutes without scoring. And, I mean, there was, there was a lot of negatives. But when I just look at this conference, you know, I look at how Michigan was right there until about, you know, six minutes to go last night at home against Illinois or what Penn State was able to do against Wisconsin last week. You know, the conference is doable. Like, if you don't bring your A game every night out, and there's nothing that's really insurmountable. So I'm like... I'm not going to doom and gloom this season. I think Nebraska, and we heard Jess Settles say it uh, before the broadcast the other night, he, that he thinks Nebraska is, is squarely in the tournament. Now, do they have a lot of work to do? Yeah. Oh, 100%. But I'm not ready to go all doom and gloom on Nebraska basketball yet. There are a lot of teams, not just in this conference, but across the country, that lost road games and have lost road games. It's just really tough to go on the road. And, you know, especially if they protect the home court. Now, you do have to find some ways to win on the road. You do. But they do have a signature win on the road against Kansas State. And, you know, there are a lot of people panicked after the loss. Yeah, I mean, I think Coach Weiberg's the first to tell you that he was disappointed in, in some of the things that happened, getting out toughed on the boards and, and the loose balls, which <laughs> this the, team... The last, do you ever remember 20-some-odd offensive rebounds? No. And the I fact mean, that you're Rutgers. still in the game. Right? And so... <laughs> You know, and he said it's and he had a couple of scoring droughts that totaled over 20 minutes. Yeah, and he said that in his press conference today. He said, we are a dang good basketball team. So, you know, I think a lot of people were down and, and a little bit, like you said, a little bit gloomy after the loss. But, and 
you know, you cannot get hung up on that. You got to bounce back because this is a good basketball team that still has a lot of potential to do all the goals that they set in place. Yep, you, you, you got to find a way to win at home against Northwestern, and I think they have Ohio State. Yeah, back to back home um, games. So you're at home where, like you just said, you can you can win some at home and get some momentum, and then you're on the road at at, at College Park, and and I think Wisconsin comes back to Lincoln, so. Gosh, if you could get three out of the next four, and I'm not conceding Maryland at all. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of – Ohio State would be a great win. Yeah. Wisconsin, obviously. While it's going to be tough, it, 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 it is in, in Lincoln. They did it and, last year. Right? At home. And, and they're top 21-ish, 22-ish. I mean, you've got a, you got a chance to, to kind of cement – give yourself a little wiggle room, yeah. right, where you're not up against it down the stretch. All right, got to get to our first break here in hour number one of Sports Nightly. 402-413-2400 is that number to call or text if you want to be a part of the show. You got any questions, you want to hit up with Damon, uh, give us a call there on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. A few drinks at home after work. A couple of hits at a party with some friends, over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Don't miss out on limited time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1 4 through 124. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. 
Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Jessica Cootie, Damon Benning here with you on this Friday night. And, hey, we've got a big wrestling duel coming up tonight. It's been a wrestling all day on the Big Ten Network, or, what, three, three duels in a row. We've got Michigan and Purdue on right now, and uh, Huskers – are uh, up at Minneapolis. They've got the Gophers. They're ranked ninth. Huskers dropped to six after the loss to Iowa, but this is a big one tonight. I think nine of the the ten bouts could be uh, between ranked wrestlers. Yeah, you're, you know, and it's nine. I get it, Coach Manning. That's my guy. Love him. Love the sport. It seems like a little bit of a slow start, but then you look and you're thinking, okay, five and one and. You were good in the Classic. You were good at Cliff King. You got South Dakota State, who, by the way, you think people realize South Dakota State is top 15? Top 15 in the country. Yeah, Wyoming, Northern Iowa. They have the bugaboo with Iowa, but it's going to be pretty good. And they're on the network. They've got a top 10 chance in, in, in Minnesota and, and, and Purdue coming up. So it's funny. Off air, you and I... We have our favorites, <laughs> you know, so I'm like, oh, I like this guy. And you're like, oh, I like this guy, and I like his style. And uh, I'm just excited because I get a chance to get back to Omaha and actually watch it. I am pumped for this one. I think the reason why maybe you think a little bit like, oh, well. Sluggish? Because the guys that have lost that you yeah. don't expect to lose, you uh, know? Good, good point. Good, good point. I, I think maybe some, like a Peyton Robb and Brock Hardy have dropped ones that last year they didn't, but, you know, it's, it's, it's early. Peyton Robb's coming off a serious, serious medical issue that he went through, so you know? So it's now a good time to tell people how I, like, closet stalked you because you were getting all the Robb interviews. <laughs> but, but they weren't, like, public, right? You guys just have a really good relationship. And, I, and I, how is he? Is he good? He's... Is, how, how's his like? Is he good? Oh, Jessica, you gotta I, tell yeah. me, like, I don't, you think we could do this again? And I'm like totally picking your brain, and you're like, you're probably like, God, this little kid, DB, is a weirdo. But well, I just, I was worried. It was he, unbelievable how you were like getting. I didn't know like much. you were in there. I I told Coach Manning this the other day when he was here. When Peyton Rob walked in here in June on crutches, I was like, that guy's not wrestling this year. Yeah. And then look at him, and so I just, I think you kind of just. It, expect him to automatically be back to where he was and I think he'd probably tell you he was but I think it's probably a little bit harder to come back from that than than you think but you know and and then like Silas Allred kind of disappointing loss last week he's just it has gotten to the point with some of these it's guys where you expect them to win ex like you expect in them those to win kinds every time. of I do I do yeah but when you put like talent versus um sometimes I call it situational awareness like where am I in the period what do I try what do I not try like and fitness. I, I don't want to jump the gun on 
wrestling and the fitness because I think it will continue to get better. Um, but that's something like if I'm watching uh, from the outside looking in, I'd love to see it get a little bit better where they can take these guys into deep water. But it, it's funny, a little bit of knowing how the sausage was made. You and I will go back and forth and well, he's my favorite or I like his style or he's my favorite. And, and I was driving home the other night and I'm like, and I think you, I, I, I think you hit the, you dropped the mic with Ridge Lovett. And of all the people you and I were talking about off air, I'm like, how did I not bring up Ridge's style? Like he's so aggressive and he's so upbeat and he's always ready to go. But there are just so many great personalities yeah. on this wrestling team. They're, they're, they're unbelievable. So what did you make of Nash? I mean, obviously he got the pen, but then, you know, I think you saw some flashes to me. And I am by no means a wrestling expert, but I think he just ran out of gas a little oh, bit. Oh, 100%. You know, yeah, against yeah, Iowa. But I think you see the tools there. Spot on. Yeah. Like, his conditioning, he's, pro he's probably still a month out. Yeah. And, and in my opinion, in terms of, of, of peak condition. But he's uber talented. And wrestling is a feel thing. It's timing. It's feel. And, and he just doesn't really have a rhythm Right now, He's what he likes. He's only been doing it three weeks, four right, weeks. What he likes, what he doesn't like, where is he comfortable, where is he not comfortable. So he just needs some time. But it's funny. And I remember when you told me this, I laughed at you. And we were talking about him coming out of high school. And you're like, you know, you know, Nash said that he just feels like he has a higher ceiling in football than he does wrestling. I'm like, that sounds weird because I don't know if I believe that. Then I watched this past football season, and I'm like, "Holy smokes, <laughs> he could be pretty good." Yeah. But then, but in my defense, I go back and I watch wrestling now, and I'm like, "He still could be really good." Yeah. In wrestling, but I, you were very crystal clear. Not to steal a line from a few good men, are we clear, <laughs> Crystal? I'm like, he said he had a higher ceiling in football, but. What do I know? Like I, I mean, I, it, he he very well may coming off the season that he had in football. Um, yeah, I just I think for him, what he was saying is that he knew he was green. He had he started playing football later. You know, he just he oh, had room to grow with good football, point. where you know, and and had and obviously, and then even Ridge said that like that was a good choice because. Look at where you could go in football as opposed as opposed to wrestling. Like, you know, maybe you get some endorsements if you're an Olympian, but if you can play in the NFL, right? That's that's the way to go. And 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 Nash is he's a he's a Sunday talent. Yeah. And I don't know if I saw. I didn't when did even, you see that? When did you think Nash can play on Sundays? Uh, about game three this mm. year, because last year, and I remember some of the broadcasts. I'd say, oh my gosh, look at his hands, like. He's explosive coming off the ball. But then he was really only good for about nine or ten plays, and he was, he was at his best coming forward. He wasn't very um, accomplished yet at playing at angles, where when you're on the D-line, like you have to be able to play at 45s. It's not always just about leaning on guys and push. And, but after watching him early this year, I'm like, Gosh, he's so explosive at the point of contact. And now he's good with lateral quickness. He's, he's definitely a guy that could get paid to be in camp. That's for sure. So John in Omaha had a question on, on that note. Uh, Damon, appreciate you on the show. After wrestling, what does the polar bear have to do to get back to football weight and conditioning? Thanks, well, you, you, John in Omaha and Go Big Red. You asked the greatest question. God, that was back on January 5th. And I told, we somebody this, I told somebody this story. I said, you know, Jessica asked me a question that nobody has asked me, not Tony White, not, not anybody. You said, what would be an ideal weight if, because this was whether we knew he could cut the weight or not. Yeah. And you go, well, what's an ideal weight for him to play football? And I go, do you know nobody's ever asked me that? And I don't really know. My guess is watching him move and hover around the 285 pound mark i think he'll play about 310. 
I was just going to say that. Three no, chicks. stop. I really was. Because I said you, you asked me a good question. No. A month ago. No, because I was in my head sitting here, where are you going to go with that? I'll bet it, I, my guess is 310. I think 310. He's, he's already explosive. I mean, you can hear me all the time during broadcasts. So, you, you, like, you have an advantage. I'm like, and I'll say, like, oh, my gosh, look at Nash. Or he's playing, that's his 40th snap. Or look at him going to his left. Or he can put two hands in the dirt. Or all the little ridiculous things that I'll say watching a, a broadcast while I'm commentating with, with G Sharp. And I think now that he's feeling light on his feet and his wind is really good, I don't know if he'll ever want to be 330 again. Well, here's... I mean, would, I, I wouldn't. Well, and here's what could happen, too. So, wrestling ends in March. Then you start going through spring ball. You get him up maybe, what, in spring ball, maybe 290, 300. You see where he's Probably at. 300 because... His, the regimen will be different. Yeah, because it's 285 that he what he has to get to. So he could easily get to 300. Or, yeah, in like four days. So, so <laughs> then maybe, maybe three. You, you evaluate throughout spring ball. How he's moving. And then, okay, we need to put on more weight or, hey, he's pretty good here, right? Yeah. He's so He was explosive at 330. Extremely powerful, heavy-handed. Um, will he be as explosive at 310? My gut says yes. I like, in the Big Ten, I like the O-line, D-line. I like my D-line, 300 or less, if you're playing the one or the three technique, right? Over the center, over the guards. And my O-line, 310, 315 is plenty big enough with, with pin and pull and gap scheme and all that. You know, you don't need to be 340 anymore. Well, and think about the offenses that are about to come in with, you know, like a USC, they play faster, U you know. UCLA. UCLA, like some of the Washington. Oregon, Washington, like they've they've played more, they've played faster. And, Tempo. And I mean, I said this from the start when I got here, like even at Oklahoma, those offensive linemen weren't as big because they had to play faster, you know, yeah. and they had to be quicker. So it's just it's a different kind of matchup as opposed to maybe just that when you're matching up against like Iowa's offensive and, and, line. And, and remember, what's one of the things we were messing around out at, at, uh, at Camp Randall in Wisconsin? I'm like, you know, Wisconsin defensive line, they look undersized. Like they didn't have Keanu Benton like they had from a year ago. And the only really big, like what I would call a heavy defensive line that I remember, it's weird because they didn't play great run defense, was Maryland. Hmm. That was, they had two big, heavy defensive tackles. Everybody else, you look at Graham from Michigan or, or anybody from Ohio State, um, you know, the two tanks from Illinois that underachieved this year. Like, they're, not, they're not big guys. I, 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 like the, I like the 285 to 300-pound D linemen. And, you know, Nash is going to naturally grow because he's young for his age. And, and 285 is a lot of rigor. I mean, he, the first 20 pounds fell off. The last 30 were tough for him. I could see anywhere from, from 300 to 310. Well, at least at this point now they can experiment with it, and they have some time. And because, he's twitchy. He's yeah. double-legging guys. He's yeah. single-legging guys. Like It's been fun to watch. So we'll see. I don't know if he'll be in the lineup tonight. Um, I, I imagine they're going to be a little bit cautious with how they approach it. He probably won't wrestle every... Yeah. Every duel, and they've got two this weekend. They're back at home on Sunday. My guess, I do not know, would be that he would be in, in one of the two, and then they'll have uh, someone else in the other one. But we'll see. So uh, that's, again, coming up at 9 o'clock on Big Ten Network as the Huskers are taking on the Gophers at Minnesota. Got to work on a break here on Sports Nightly. Contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Back with more on Sports Nightly coming up. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. 
I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of Active Liver. Active Liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with Active Liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. As a fan, you wear your jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. There's a place for people like you. The Cox Fan Zone. Play NFL Pick'em and Collegiate Pick'em for a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card each week or even a $500 Visa gift card grand prize. Hey, Oscar fans, this is Greg Sharp. Say Fan Zone in your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit Cox.com slash Fan Zone. Go Big Red. I learned a lot of sayings from my dad. One of them was, do one thing, do it better than anyone else. At Dakota Mac, that one thing is ag financing. If you're considering expanding your ag operation, restructuring debt, purchasing equipment, or needing a line of credit, call Dakota Mac. We'll be happy to walk you through all your options. Hi, it's Caleb Hopkins from Dakota Mac. Call me at 515-314-7066 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor-saving measures, ground-truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting-edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built for Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres. Solutions for every field. Alongside Damon Benning, I'm Jessica Cootie. Well, uh, DB, my timeline has been flooded with 
Alabama players headed to the portal, right? Uh, it's unbelievable. And so the the NCAA implemented a transfer portal window, and it closed what July or July, January third or second. And but yet, if a head coach leaves, then they reopen the transfer portal for 30 days. But what what's your thoughts on that? Because here's Alabama, and they have a mass exodus, but they don't really have portal players to choose from at this point because it's closed. I know it, right? You got Caleb Downs and Proctor and I mean, and they'll probably have a couple of more, but I get it. So it, there was a couple of teams I was interested in, um, Arizona, Washington, Bama. It's like, what's that 30 day? Like Caleb Downs could go anywhere he wants to. And I'm sure it'll probably come down to Ohio State or, or Georgia. Right. I mean, when you leave Alabama, where do you go? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like, where, 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 where do you go? But I, so I want to, I want to back up just a second. I wish whatever they're going to call the governing body for right now, let's just say the NCAA. <laughs> Cause it's probably not going to be. Yeah. It doesn't, it does, doesn't look good. Does it? Yeah. They got to do something with the month of December. I, there's just too much going on. Yeah. You have the early signing period. You have bowl coaches games. Leaving. You have coaches, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's just, it's too much. So let's figure out what to do with December. Maybe you go do back you, to just one signing period. Do you go back to the February signing day? So I, I don't know. That's a, that's a fantastic question. I go back and forth. Um, I mean, if you're Nebraska and you still got a 2024 out there that you offered, it's like, Whoa, you're going to pull that off. Um, I guess it depends. This is such a weak sauce answer, so I apologize. If you're a developmental program, I don't mind a later signing period because sometimes you need senior years. Sometimes you have to fill in. Now, if, if you're you know, Ohio State or Georgia or SC or some of these programs, uh, do your thing. Right, um, those guys are going to come anyway, so so that's okay. But I think some of these programs in the Nebraska's, the Wisconsin's, the K States. I mean, how about Wisconsin getting double-digit guys in the portal? Like I'm, I'm like Fickle Trestle. Like that's not you guys, or is it? You know, they're ranked like right behind a school like Ole Miss. Now I could see Lane Kiffin being like that, but. How is Wisconsin signing 13, 14 guys out of the portal? It seems like a lot for a developmental program, but I don't know what the magic answer is for, like, one signing day. Do you think maybe you could implement a time when you can and cannot have coaches leave? I don't know, because when, when's, when's – I remember when it was upward Oklahoma when Lincoln Riley left, but yet – Oklahoma was still fighting to get to the Big 12 championship, and then they lose to Oklahoma, and then he announces the next day he's going to USC. It's yeah, just, good point. there's been a lot of, and then Nick Saban, he, that's, when, that's, something we sh that's something we should ask bargain about. Because when is he supposed to retire? Because remember, when he was recruiting, like, that contact period, and when you could and couldn't be out on the road, and how many could and couldn't be out on the road was vastly different than it is now. Yeah. Um, but that's a good, uh, I don't know, should... So, I mean, like, how do you fix the issues that okay, college football okay. has? So it's funny you ask me that because I remember with Coach Rules in home, one of the reasons he wanted to do it when he did was he said he could kill two birds with one stone because he said, once I shoot my shot and I'm in Omaha and I come to, like, let's say, well, at this particular, excuse me, at this particular time it was Westside, um, then that's it for my, my visit. So should I do the high school and the in-home in the same day. I think if you're a head coach or an assistant, it shouldn't be any different. And I know practically you're probably like, well, the head coach is the hammer, but let's You develop the relationships with those position coaches, those assistant coaches. Yes! That's why kids are picking to go play at a lot of these schools is because of the relationships they build with Terrence Knight and with uh, Coach Cooper, with Riola. You know, it's like, oh, yes, Matt Rule is a big part of it. 
But this is across the board. I mean, when I was at Oklahoma, it was the same thing. They were committing to those position coaches, those relationships that they built with those guys that are going to, they're going to be in the room with day in and day out. What she said. <laughs> like, I'm dead. Like, that's what I, that's what I believe. So let the head coaches go. I, I mean, if, if, if Coach Rule and Coach Coop are going to be seen as even peer recruiters, that's going to take some time. Right now, I don't think that's the case. I think, I think Coop's a guy. I think Knighton's a guy. I think they've got a lot of guys that are a guy. Coach Rule typically saves it for being the hammer, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you need me, this is where I am. I kind of want to be all-encompassing. So I'm, I couldn't say it any better than, than how you kind of surmise it. The relationships are usually built with the coordinators and the position coaches. And the head coach is typically the hammer. I can't imagine Nick Saban like having these words of wisdom in, 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 a, in a living room where you're swayed. Now, is it because he's Nick Saban? Sure, I get that. But is it the relationship that he's building? That I don't see. Even with me, like, let's just take it on a much, 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 much smaller scale. Still the same, still a great coach, but a much smaller scale on a national recruiting level. Coach Osborne coming to my house with, with, with Coach Dan Young wasn't the selling point. It was what Coach Solich had done up until that point and what the peer recruiting had meant to me in my household. Was it cool to have Coach Osborne there? Oh, no question, right? I mean, as Nancy dropped him off, he, she was going shopping back then. You know, wives couldn't come in and, you know, we're eating cookies or, or, or whatever it was. But that wasn't the hammer. So just let coaches, head coaches, go do what they do. I don't ultimately think it's the difference in terms of what players can and, 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 and can't do, if, if, if that is, makes sense. Those staffs don't stay when the head coach leaves, you I know? I get, I get it. So that's where it, it, I, I, I get it. Well, we got to get to a commercial break, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you saw it firsthand in, in Norman. Yeah. Yeah, no, so it's it's just kind of how do you fix it? I don't know. I just, but yeah, how to get your perspective on that. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Husker fans, if you're looking for a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding and provides flexibility, your local insurance agency is hiring. No matter your skills or interests, there are opportunities for you in the insurance industry. Explore the many ways you can use your skills to protect your community by checking out the IIAN job board. Find your calling and be a part of an industry that makes a difference. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for three or seven months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for three or seven months with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier checking account. Give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com teachers. 
for farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. JCDB here with you for one final segment here at our uh, 6 o'clock hour of Sports Nightly on this Friday night edition. There was a pretty good suggestion here in the chat. Let me find it here. Um, Justin in the chat said, move the portal, the transfer portal start date to the last week of January or first week of February. Okay. But then that doesn't get you in for, like, winter workouts. Okay, but hang on. So, let's do this slow. The last week in he said, January. Start date to the last week of January or first week of February. But, but winter workouts are underway by then is the only problem. Okay, let's work backwards. So, students come back to class Monday, right? Yeah. Which will so be the 22nd? 22nd. Yeah. Um, because you got to get you, like that's the thing is surrounding classes so, starting. And so would you? So so a couple things. Have, I I don't mind that like at first blush, right? So it would be nice if people were on the semester versus quarter. Yeah. Which you got to figure out. So these schools, if you go power conferences, JC, you better get on the same schooling system. Are we on the quarters? Are we on the semester? Like, could I? Could I go to Stanford, you know, three weeks later because they're on the quarter system and I'm on the semester system? It would be nice if they figured that out. I'm not, that's a pipe dream. But let's say you move, let's say you get off of December and push February back to like the third week before you start spring ball potentially. Does that give you time for students to get into school? Got to get a feel for who's there and pick something else to do. What maybe, if the, maybe go Valentine's Day to March 15th or something like that. What if the 30 days started mid-December, ended mid-January as opposed to January 3rd? Mid-December. So what do you do at the so, bowl game, though? Well, I mean, look, I think it's, it's, it's inevitable. Guys are going to transfer when they transfer. But at least you get through, you allow the staff to really focus on the signing class. Okay. And so, then you get through the signing class, and then you focus on the transfer do you portal. Know why then would, you still get guys in before school starts and winter workouts. I'd be on your team. I, I'll air high five you if you let my freshmen play in the bowl game. If you do that, if you let my, my red shirt guys. Well, they have four games that they can play in. Play in the bowl game where I could use that as an eval that doesn't count during the four games during the season, open that bad boy up in December. Okay, got to find... I don't mind. That's, we might that's, not, that's not bad. I, just, I think if they pushed it back and allowed it a little bit longer in January, then that allows some of the guys that are playing in some of the bigger bowls, you know, to have that time and, and the coaching changes, all of that. Um, real quickly, uh, one final question for you here in this hour. Um, it's from Greg in Hong Hong. Question for DB is G Sharp's attempt at humor as cringeworthy in the booth as it is over the air. I'm telling you, anybody that'll listen, he's. <laughs> I, I, listen, I tell this to everybody. He's hilarious. There are times I want to laugh on air, and I don't. <laughs> But off air, I, I, I think he's fantastic. Yeah, like, he's, he, he's funny. He's the real deal. His humor will be back in this seat on Monday. So, <laughs> by the way, that was Greg. Yeah. Greg Sharp. G Sharp actually texting in there. All right. Oh, that's no fun. Did I take back every nice thing I said? <laughs> All right. We got more. Uh, hour number two of Sports Nightly coming up after this. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at woodhouse.com where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today.
Good evening, I'm Duke Rudin. Our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Nebraska men's basketball head coach Fred Hoiberg spoke to the media today ahead of the Huskers matchup with Northwestern tomorrow. The biggest storyline going into the game is the injury to Juwan Gary suffered in the overtime loss at Rutgers. The injury was non-contact, hurried until the press conference. He, uh, he got a scan yesterday. We got the result in last night and uh, we feel very fortunate about where things are with him. It turned out it's a calf strain and it's going to be a day-to-day -day injury. So he feels significantly better today than he did yesterday. It was a very scary situation for Juwan. I think everybody saw it was a non-contact injury and he felt a pop and obviously thought the worst. It was very sore and he couldn't put much pressure on it at that time. Uh, our trainer, Andrew McCabe, did an initial, initial evaluation on him and really felt like the Achilles was intact, but we wanted to get a scan just to make sure on it. Uh, he does have, uh, uh, still has quite a bit of soreness in the calf, so he will not play tomorrow and we'll just take it day by day. If he continues to show the same progress that he's shown the last 48 hours, then uh, you know, hopefully we'll get him back on the court soon. I'm not going to put a time frame on it, but we'll just call it day to day right now. The Huskers face the Wildcats at home tomorrow at 1:15, with coverage starting at 12:15 right here on the Husker Radio Network. Only one Big Ten men's basketball game on tonight, and that is Indiana at number 11 Wisconsin. Other notable games in the country are UNLV at Colorado State and Georgetown leading Xavier 60 to 52 in the second half. There are seven NBA games on tonight, including the Nuggets at the Celtics, Phoenix against the Pelicans, the Heat hosting the Hawks, and the Nets versus the Lakers. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is Hour 2 of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here's Mast with the ball, coming to it, Tominaga, gives on the hash mark, Hoiberg drives the ball, reverse layup with the left hand, oh my goodness. circus shot, absolutely circus shot by Sammy Hoiberg. He will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Once the screen gets it from Markowski to the right elbow, back out top. Markowski will shoot a three. You betcha. Ties the game. A three-pointer by Markowski off the assist from Hayes. Mast hands it off to Hoiberg, coming right to left, faces up. Throws back to Tominaga. Got a good look on the way. Got it. Got it. The net hangs up on the rim. It was so pure. Three ball. Another CBA three. Casey gives Nebraska the lead. Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key. You betcha. Natalie pots the Big Ten freshman of the week with a triple. On the right side to Hoiberg, right to left, top of the circle, reverses it off the floor. Oh, CJ, three is good. Got it. Bang, all right. CJ Wilcher is on fire. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome back. Hour number two of Sports Nightly. Got another fun hour ahead for you. We got to keep uh, this first segment pretty short because we have a very fun interview to get to with Gary Bargan. Also, we've got Cole's joke ahead. People were pretty upset with you, Cole, that you weren't ready and you weren't here last night to deliver your, your joke of the week. Speaking of, um, uh, Jim and Columbus wants to know if you have a joke of the week, Damon. I'm not that, f like, I, <laughs> I, can't be, I can't be funny on demand. Like, it's more impromptu. You laugh I, at your own jokes. Your <laughs> laugh is pretty funny. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, Cole, put, put, a, t put a tick on that. Jessica made me feel insecure. Uh, I laugh, too. <laughs> Just because I, I said Hong laugh. Kong and you guys kept saying Hong Hong? Who says Hong Hong? <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, we also have an interview with Billy Andrews uh, coming up as well, but we only have a couple more minutes. Think she could Damon. teach me how to hit? I don't know. You were a pretty good hitter, right? Yeah. You almost, but it's, you it's, were actually wanted to play baseball. I did, I did. It, it's very, very hard to hit from 46 feet, though. Hey, what if we set up something for you to go out there and try to hit Jordy Ball? I, I would love that. I know her pretty well, so I, I would try. We could get some cameras out there, see if you I don't, can get... I don't want to wear the cage face mask. I want to wear the visor on my helmet. But, like, 
I would try. I, I feel like maybe we should get that in the works and get some cameras out there and she's, see. She's funny, too. Like, and, and we play against, we. <laughs> Westside plays against Papio South, so Caleb plays against Bryson tomorrow night, too. So that, that would be fun. Okay, um, continue, continuing quickly on our segment from last, or the last segment, we had talked about the transfer portal. How crazy is it that, you know, this time a year ago, with as many transfer portal guys as we're seeing from Alabama, that there were very, very few that went into the portal once Matt Roll was hired here yeah. at Nebraska. And there hasn't been, I mean, only, I think, six since August, right? I think I, mean, I saw listen, that right. To, 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 and with the Ty Robinsons, the Nash Hut makers of the world and guys like that that want to come back and don't want to leave, that's all you need to know about the culture he's building. I, I, I mean, it's not, it's not about NIL. It's not about money. It's about, you know what, this is family. And as you know, Shoot, you love Oklahoma, right? You love your family. It's hard to leave family. So uh, these guys don't want to get while the getting's good. They want to stay while the getting's good because they love staying right where they're at. Absolutely. All right. It's a busy weekend here. We, we mentioned it earlier, Junior Day coming up tomorrow. The, the speakers are blaring. They got the highlights on. So you always know when it's a big weekend when they got recruits in. Uh, it's very easy to tell when we're, we come in here to work. Uh, so big weekend here as they try to bring in the, the next generation of the family of Huskers. All right, going to get to a break here because we got to get we got to get to a fantastic interview with Gary Bargan as it is alumni weekend for Nebraska men's basketball hosting Northwestern here tomorrow. Contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Gary Bargan up next up next here on Sports Nightly. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Build Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. 
Woodhouse Buick is bringing you more for the new year. With every new Buick purchase from Woodhouse, we're including three years of scheduled maintenance. Plus, with our current lease offers going on now, you'll save even more. Lease a 2023 Buick Envision Preferred for $399 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, $2,891 down payment and first payment in $299 dock fee due at signing. Must have GM lease loyalty or lease conquest to qualify. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cootie, joined by Damon Benning here tonight. And we have a special guest joining us on the line as tomorrow is Alumni Day for Nebraska men's basketball. Several former coaches and players coming in to celebrate and gather and uh, have some special time together over the weekend. And we are joined by one of those great coaches that were a part of some of those really great teams. Gary Bargan, appreciate you calling in and, and being part of the show tonight. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to it. Well, let's just start with how special is it for you to be able to, to get back with some of these guys and, and spend some time together and reminisce on, on some of those great days? Oh, we... We met at, uh, they had a practice, walk-through practice at Pinnacle this afternoon, and so we got a chance to go there, and um, uh, there was probably, I'd say, 25 or 30 uh, former players and coaches there, and we just had a great time, one, one, one after another, you know? Coach, it's so cool. Like, you were here at, like, the peak of recruiting talent. And then you look at the facilities. What do you think you guys would have been capable of given what the guys can practice in and, and kind of this day and age? You, gosh, you, you guys were already good. What would amenities have done for you? Who knows, who knows about that, Damon, but I will tell you, we felt pretty blessed that we had, that we had convinced the legislature uh, several years before to put one nickel tax on each package of cigarettes so that we could have the Devaney Center to play in. And oh, we thought that's that was right. Great. You guys had some good crowds there, though, right? Oh, my goodness. They, they were, um, it's about, what, 13.5 or 13.8, something like this. And in the middle of our time here, why they would be sold out. I mean, the students would be lined up outside, you know, to get the, the bleacher seats, first rows and stuff, and it was, it was wonderful. Coach, it's so cool, though, to kind of, you were talking about how fun it was to see the guys and 25, 30 guys. Everybody got along so well. I, I don't know if, if people were just nicer then, but that's kind of how I feel about our era, too. Like, we still get along really well. Do, is there is there something to having to actually talk to one another and recruit face to face and you know there wasn't really text and I mean if you wanted to talk you were sitting down and talking your your guys chemistry was top shelf. Uh, you know as you look back on it today, David, and you see what's happening with the transfer portal. And you got to have an NL, NIL, and and so on. Uh, it seems to me that it's more about me, more about the individual today than ever before. And 
I just, uh, I agree with you. I think there's something missing there. Hopefully it'll come back, but who knows? I wanted to ask you specifically about that 93-94 uh, Big 8 championship team. That's uh, who's going to be honored here tomorrow. Uh, how good was that team? How much talent was on that team? Uh, you know, I, I have watched two films, at least two videos of that team playing in the last couple of days. And um, when you get to be, I'm going to be 82 next month. So sometimes all those all those years with all those players, and then you got to kind of separate it and see it on paper or on video. And as I watched, I watched part of the championship game against Oklahoma State. I watched the uh, game against uh, Michigan State. And I watched the game against Missouri. I think the Michigan State might have been the next year. But anyway, those, those that team was good. They were very, very well, uh, great, great athletes. We had great athletes. We had just enough size for what we needed, and we could play, you know, play hard on defense. We had depth. So if somebody needed a break or got in foul trouble, well, we could, you know, substitute without any much letdown. Uh, actually, you know, uh, that team was a really, really good team and probably uh, accomplished as much or more than some of the others that might even have been more talented. You know, that year was the fourth consecutive year in a row that uh, Huskers qualified for the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Coach, it's so all, it's... They, we had some talent, yeah. Coach, it was such a... A, it's it's almost nostalgic, right? People, you know, revisionist history, sometimes you think the talent is this or it's that, but, I mean, there were the Stacy Kings and the Byron Williams and, and at Oki State, and, and, I mean, Missouri was, like, everybody was so good. Do, do you hearken back to those days before all these other teams have gone Division One conference expansion? I mean... There was a heavy, heavy concentration of talent with some great players. There were. And, and you know, we were fortunate, you know, to be able to have uh, a, a really good squad. I mean, with depth and, and, um, and quality athletes, you know. They, and, you know, the other thing, Damon, that just really uh, I'll never forget is that we had some Nebraska players, yeah. Nebraska natives. Uh, Eric Strickland, you know, Jerron Boone came from Utah, but he was really a um, Omaha guy. Know, his dad was a Omaha guy, and and we had uh, Piakowski, you know, was a kid that was just in South Dakota, <laughs> you know. So we had some really good uh, native kids, and and they played hard. They played together. Um, it, there's there's an awful lot to be said. I, I mean, every team just today seems to have lots of talent, and if they don't, just wait till next year. They'll get some, <laughs> you know, out of the portal. But that team, those teams that we had, not only had talent, but they had chemistry. You know. Visiting with a, a former assistant coach for Nebraska men's basketball, Gary Bargan. Well, Danny Nee also going to be honored here tomorrow. What was it like working with him? Well, Coach Nee, um, I was interviewed by uh, another group here just recently this afternoon, and that was one of the questions they had. And I said, you know, he was a salesman. You know, I was a, a coach at uh, Hutchinson Community College and had been there for eight years, and and really uh, was we got third in the national tournament, which was always held at Hutchinson every year. We got third in the national tournament that year, and we had we had five. Division One players on that team, uh, actually eight, five sophomores and three freshmen. And Coach Nee came down to look at some of those, and we sat in the in the stands and just watched our kids. This was after the tournament a couple weeks, and after he got the job here, and we just sat and watched him play pickup. And he looked at me, and 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 I had a seven footer that went to Georgetown. I had a six ten that went to KU a 6'6 shooting guard that went to Oklahoma State. Uh, then And, and, and then uh, uh, Derek Vick and, and T. Buchanan end up coming up here to Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, 
uh, we had another 6'10 kid and a 6'8 kid and a 6'6 kid, those players went to Oklahoma and KU and wherever the next year. And so we had a lot of talent. He says to me, how did you get all these guys? And I said, coach, we just recruited them. You know, we just we just recruited them. Of course, we had a pretty good place to recruit them too. And so he went back home, wanted to recruit a bunch of these kids. Two weeks later, he calls me on the telephone, and he says, um, uh, are you sitting down? And I said, no. And he said, well, close your door and sit down. I want to talk to you. And he said, this morning, one of my current assistants that came with me from uh, Ohio uh, walked in and said, I can't recruit against Larry Brown and Norm Stewart and Leonard Hamilton and, and the big in the big eight. He said, I just can't do that. I'm going back to Ohio. And Danny was very upset. And so he calls me and he said, I want you to come up here and take this spot. Mm. And I said, oh, coach, I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I know how assistant coaches in those days, they could travel. There was no rules. They could travel 365 days a year. Wow. Isn't that and something? I, I was a kind of a family guy and I didn't really, I had over 200 coaches that come into my gym at Hudson every year like that. And so he, and, and so we talked for 45 minutes hmm. and at the end of the 45 minutes, he said, you got to come. And I said, and he said, coach Devaney says, you got to come. <laughs> and I said, well, let me tell you, there's one stipulation that's really going to make a decision here. Number one, I've got a daughter that's graduating from Hutchinson Community College this year. She's already going to Nebraska next year since we were from here. I've got a, a young man that's of a son that's going to be a senior in high school. I got a daughter that's going to be a junior in high school. And he said, it's going to be up to those two right there uh, to um, whether we go or not, because it's a hard time, hard time to move to high school kids. So he said, well, come up here. So we flew up there the next morning, my, my wife and I, and after three days or two and a half days with Coach Nee and Devaney calling me on the telephone and so on, my wife and I decided that we would come if those two, when we got home, said it was okay. If they said, no, we don't want to leave, we're not going. So we got home and we sat down with them and talked to them and they said, why not? Hmm. Let's try it. <laughs> we both about fell off our chair and... From the rest of it was history. I called Coach Nee and Coach Devaney, and that was the end of it. <laughs> wow, what a great story. <laughs> you got to kind of walk me through this. I, I think you saw your, the recruiting prowess short, and uh, you know, Schmidt was good, and, and, and you called Coach Nee a salesman. But, I mean, you just, some of the guys, I mean, you know, Deprese Owens was from Ohio. Carl Hayes was, was a Chicago guy. Bo Reed was from Ohio. Um, yep. you, men you mentioned Pike. He was Rapid City. Chubbick was Atkinson. Uh, Rich King, yep. Omaha. Keith Moody was Virginia. Um, Jamar Johnson, Elkhart. Your recruiting footprint was all over the place, but you, I mean, you had some fellas. Ramos was from Miami. Badge was Omaha. Like, how were you guys doing it to accrue so much talent? during that time I you know I think we started out initially I can remember my lingo when I went <laughs> to Washington DC and Chicago and and I everybody knew about the Huskers but they knew about Husker football mm -hmm. yeah and so when I would go into a home or a high school and the, the high school coach was well aware of Husker football. And I would tell these recruits and their parents, you've heard of Husker football. We're going to make Husker basketball just like football. Mm. And so initially, we'd get a Clifford scale from a really high-end uh, high school in St. Joe. In, in, uh, yeah, he's from Chicago. Maywood originally, right? And then, Yeah. And the next year, I get Carl Hayes out of the same place. Yeah. In fact, Carl and I were just talking about that this afternoon. We got into D.C., and you remember um, Derek Chandler. Yeah, that's my, my, nephew, my nephew's dad. 
Yeah. Yeah. And and we we knew him in high school. We had con. And and so then he ended up going to junior college in Texas. And I just kept following that up and following that up. And he ended up being here. And uh, then and we started winning some games. And I another another uh, situation was we always had the Husker Classic. Uh, in fact, they call it the Emeritus Tournament yeah. in December. And we'd have four, you know, three other good teams in here, Ohio State and so on. Well, one year we had... San Jose State in here. Oh, Tony Farmer. <laughs> and we played them in the championship, I think, or we played them in the game. And within uh, probably three months after that, they had a revolt and their program at San Jose State. And I happened to be the guy that, that scouted uh, them, so I knew their personnel very well. And the secretary hollered at me and she said, Gary, there's a guy on the phone <laughs> that wants to talk to a coach and his name is Tony Farmer. Unbelievable I story. Are you serious? So I the, no, I picked up the phone and I said, he said, this is Tony Farmer. You don't even know who I am. And I said, oh, yes, you played against us at San Jose State this year. I scouted the game. I know exactly who you are. And I said, we have to shut this conversation off because you got to get permission Unreal. to call. You know, I knew they were having trouble out there, and all the players walked off the off the court and revolted. And and I said, so we need permission. You got to get permission uh, before we can talk to you. Well, Tony is here today. Tony's here tonight. Wow. You know? Oh, I might have to. I might have to shoot over there. I mean, those are like my guys, right? I'm, I, you know, that was in the heyday when I, and I was being recruited, and I remember yeah. when he was a Laker. Um, yeah. I mean, Bo Reed, the, Coach. Again, your humility is as is, is kind of what I think makes you you. But like between you and I think you had Coach Mitchum and. And I, and I mentioned Schmitty. You guys had to have a pretty good recruiting plan to be canvassing as much area as you did. Well, when Coach Me came, when I got up here, he said, now I want to make you recruiting coordinator. And, and he said, you had all these kids at Hutchinson. He said, I expect you to get the same kind of kids up here. <laughs> I looked at no him pressure. I, I, looked at him, I looked at him and I thought, wait a minute. My plan at Hutch Juco was just to go contact the best kids, get them on campus, and we got them, period, you know. They didn't have the grades to go to a four-year school, so we got them, you know. And, and we got them down there, and the only scholarship we had was tuition and books. We didn't have full rides. <laughs> hmm. And so we came up here, and, you know, Coach Mitchum, you know, was a young guy, and we kind of used him, you know, actually – when you think about it, back in those days, there were not three guys, that, three assistants to go on the road. There were only two assistants to go on the road. Yeah. And, and when we first started, and there were no rules, you could go 365 days a year. And if you didn't go, you know the guys that were recruiting the same kids you were, were. So you better get out there. And work. <laughs> hey, one of the and guys. So, oh, go ahead. Sorry. And so that's kind of the effort we did. You know, I, I remember Coach Nee said, you know, Coach Mitchum's kind of young. He's never coached yet. He said, yeah, I expect you to take him under your wing. And, and so that's, that's how we got to be pretty good friends, Coach Mitchum and I. And then, and then we would be out on the road, and we would be, have a home visit lined up. And then Coach Nee would fly in, and I'd go to the airport and pick him up. I'd already know exactly where this kid lived and parents and everything and take him there and we'd have the home visit and they'd come here for a campus visit and we were just so blessed to be able to put together some really good players who were good people and that that's that that blessed us for you know those four years in a row that we went to the ncaa tournament uh was a blessed time in nebraska basketball Absolutely. Hey, one of those guys that you did not get was Fred Hoiberg. Uh, how disappointed were you guys that you didn't land him? <laughs> oh, well, that's a long story. <laughs> we, were, 
<laughs> we, don't have, we don't have time for all that, but I will tell you that I chased uh, Fred Hoiberg around for two summers. Damon knows what summers are like in basketball. Yeah. And summer basketball. And I, I chased him around for two summers. He played on a very good AAU team in Iowa. And, you know, his his grandfather, Jerry Bush, had been head coach here. And his mother and father were both Southeast High School graduates. My my wife's brother was his, he married a girl from Southeast High School was in that same class. <laughs> so we were all friends. We knew each other like friends on campus uh, and, and so on. Well, anyway, so Fred's a good player. I'm chasing him around. We go into his home in like September of his senior year. And Coach Nee and I fly over there on a Sunday afternoon and meet with them. And we, we have a really good visit. We know that the books are stacked a little bit against us because Coach Hoiberg's wife today was his girlfriend then. And she was already enrolled at Iowa State. She was a little bit older than he. Uh oh. And she was already there. And we know the books are stacked that way. But we, we, hey, Coach Osborne was involved in recruiting him for football because he was a good quarterback. And we were setting up the visit. And, uh, and then uh, that's the end of the story. <laughs> oh, great story. Co Co Coach, I got a, at least last one from me before yep. I let JC close this out. Uh, you got into compliance, and you were really good with Al Pap, the great Al Papik and understanding rules and, and kind of the overseer. You, would you prefer to have been part of the admin in the early 90s to mid-90s or now in 2024? You mean to be in compliance then? Yeah. Uh, I probably was in at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> however, however, I will tell you this. The, the, the things that the rules now are so open and free. Yeah. That once was always considered cheating, like calling somebody too many more than once a week or going to see them more times than you were allotted to do it, or, or, you know, people, there, people were were doing this NLI stuff, year NIL stuff, long <laughs> before that it became legal, and it was illegal then. <laughs> and so, I I will tell you, they they don't have to monitor every telephone call that every coach makes on their camp. When we when I was doing it. They had to have a telephone log for every call they made recruiting so we could verify that they didn't call a, a prospect more than once a week. Stacy so King, King tells the best pre-NIL story ever with Billy Tubbs at Oklahoma, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, hey, it, it, it's, uh, it's a, a different world today, and I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm – well, I'm going to be 82 next month, and I'm retired, and i got 16 grandkids, and my son coaches at Bradley University, and I've got grandkids that are playing basketball and volleyball and football in Texas, Illinois, and, and Kansas City, and I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, in that's fact, amazing. After this banquet's over tonight, I've got the iPad along. We're staying with another a guy here in town, my wife and I, and we're going there, and we'll get the iPad out, and we'll watch a grandson who's a senior at Blue Valley Northwest uh, be playing in the semifinals of a big tournament down in Pittsburgh, Kansas. So. Oh, that's amazing. So good, Coach. Thank you so much for your time. Great stories. Appreciate it so much. You're welcome. And we're going to go in and enjoy the banquet. Absolutely. Thank Have you. a great enjoy night. Enjoy the night, and, Coach. And uh, the game tomorrow Thank as well. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. That is uh, Gary Bargain. What great stuff there. Is, uh, we appreciate him joining us here on Sports Nightly and on our Sports Nightly hotline. The Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com.
generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. There's no community like a Cenex community, and that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Woodhouse Cadillac, where luxury meets performance. Discover the seamless blend of design, innovation, and power as you explore the 2024 Cadillac lineup. Lease a 2024 Cadillac XT5 Luxury for $599 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, must have current Cadillac financial lease and Costco membership prior to January 1st, 2024. $2,500 down plus first payment and $299 document fee due at signing. Offer expires February 29th, 2024. See dealer for details. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. 
Stay active with chiropractic. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. If problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment, just help. Visit lifeafterbet.com. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. We are just 20 days out from the season opener for Nebraska softball, and those preseason polls have come in, and the Huskers are ranked in the top 15 in both of those. And uh, just recently announced is the top 50 players in a college softball and NCAA softball and uh, Huskers have two of those in those top 50 Jordy ball coming in at number two Billy Andrews in in at number 42 and uh, Billy if you've followed Husker softball I mean she is you've heard her name often and she is all over the Husker record books she's got a 335 career hitting average 43 home runs which is 11 shy of the Nebraska all-time home run record which no doubt she'll probably get that this season but uh you know she's again one of the best hitters in college softball and with uh, 20 days out from the season opener they had media day today taking all their photo shoots the intro video all that kind of stuff so I was able to catch up with Billy Andrews and and uh, chat with her about preseason and goals and all of that leading into the season the 2024 Husker softball season okay well in back in the uniform how does this feel uh, it feels good to be back it's been a while so what about going through this media day, taking your photos, the intro video, all that for the last time as a senior? Yeah, it's crazy. It feels like freshman year was like yesterday, but it's cool just to do this every year. And everything that all of our media uh, crew does for us is really special. So it's really fun to be a part of. You guys have been practicing what you're under 20 days now uh, from the first game. How have the preseason workouts and preparations gone up to this point? They've been really good. We we jumped into it uh, just with high energy and just going, just going all out. And I think that's paid us back. And we've had really good team practices, and we've been putting in the work. So we're excited to get going. You know, with, with so many players coming back and that experience of, of tasting the postseason, how has that fueled this team leading up to the season this this year? Yes. Uh, so the past couple of years, getting that experience in the postseason and playing high-level teams um, just gives us confidence that we can be there and that we deserve to be there and we can play with the big teams and I think going into this season we've got a lot of returners so having that confidence and that experience going into this season I think just gives our team an extra boost. A couple of preseason polls have come out what's it like to see the those numbers next to Nebraska to start the season? Yeah it's really exciting I don't know the last time that happened so um, it's cool, but we need to, we haven't played yet, so it's cool to see that, but we still got to go out and show them who we are. There are a lot of familiar faces, but there are a lot of new faces. Uh, let's start with Jordy Ball, obviously the big news, adding her. What's it been like playing behind her so far? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, we actually grew up playing together, so it's just coming back, and it's just fun to be playing with her again. And she blends well with the team, so she just mixes in well, and playing behind her, it's fun. Not just her, but it seems like you guys got a, um, more depth at pitcher this season just from what we saw in the fall. Overall, how are you liking the way that the pitching staff is coming along? Yeah, pitchers are doing good. Um, we've They've thrown live a couple times, and they've come out throwing, and it's competition hitter versus pitcher, and it's it's been good. The pitchers are going all out, hitters going all out. Um, I'm excited for them to face other batters. <laughs> how about the freshmen? Yeah, I know Coach Ravel had come in in the fall and was really excited about some of the talent, the young talent that's coming in. Yeah, they've also just come in ready to go. Um, they're super aggressive. They've also, they also came in comfortable. They fit right in with us. Um, and I just think with the experience that they had in the fall, um, they'll add a lot to this year. This has been such a close-knit program, and, and that's been key in what you guys have been able to do on the field. How have you guys tried to implement that with a new team, with newcomers, just again carrying that kind of chemistry over? Yeah, so we talk 
Um, just a lot about culture and who we are as people more than who we are as players. And I think that just carries over into the game. Who we are and our relationships outside of the field pour into what we can do on the field. And that's like just one of our big focuses. And I think that's like what we focus on when we get new people. And I think it's it's been working well. So <laughs> Brooke decided to come back and, and play her last year. Uh, how special is that for you to get to have one more year playing with your sister? You know, it's always special. Um, even though it's the last year, it, like, it's special. I don't know. It, not many people get to experience it. So just being able to play with her all four of my years, I honestly couldn't ask for anything else. And personally, what kind of goals have you set for yourself? How, what were some of the things that you wanted to work on leading into your final season? Um, just grow on what I accomplished last year. Um, just doing what I can to help the team. And if anything comes out of it, it comes out of it. But uh, just growing from who I was last year. And then just uh, overall as a team, how do you guys go about kind of approaching the goals that you guys want to accomplish this season leading up to the start of the season? Yeah, we just take it a day at a time, getting a little bit better every day, um, knowing our goals going into it and how we need to attack practice that way. And like right now we're like at practice, we're like, our first game is against Washington. Would this swing beat Washington? Would this play beat Washington? So just being prepared and putting ourselves in a game-like mentality. I love that. All right, well, you got all the photo shoots going on. The cameras are all out. Who is the best at going through this kind of thing on the team? Who is the best? Who, who enjoys it? Who thrives in this environment? Hey, I, there's a couple. <laughs> Brooke, Abby Newlin, Ava, Talia, I would say. They love it. How much do you just like this overall team, just how you guys are coming together so far? Um, I just love it. I love everyone. We all get along super well, and it's just fun being around them, and I wouldn't want to be on a team with anyone else. We're all just, we're all super close. Great stuff. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. Again, uh, February 8th, the opener in the Puerto Vallarta Classic. They'll be taking on Washington. That's always a great tournament. So I uh, can't wait for Husker softball season. Got to get to our final break before our final segment. It's the segment you guys have all been waiting for. Cole's Joke of the Week on the other side. Keep it here on Sports Nightly. Save now during the Start Something New sales event happening now at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair. Right now, lease the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude for $399 per month. Grand Cherokee is the most luxurious vehicle in its class. Based on Summit model offerings and the latest Ward's Middle Sport Utility Vehicle segment. Excludes other FCA US LLC vehicles. Based on the latest available competitive information. Lease for 27 months, 10,000 miles per year. For well-qualified returning lease customers. With approved credit. Tax tied license extra. $1,999 down plus first payment and $299 dot fee to its signing. Stock number C240394. Offer expires 131.24. See dealer for details. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Not All Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Not All Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Not All Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. 
Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. You could win a 2024 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2024 Porsche Macan if they make a full court putt at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. For more information and the official rules, go to www.huskers.com slash putt. All right, it is that time. The reason why you guys have all been hanging around this entire show, it is time for Cole's joke of the week. It was supposed to be last night. He left me hanging. He took the night off. But, hey, he's back <laughs> here tonight, and he's going to deliver uh, tonight. I'm doing jumping jacks back there. Trying to you get ready? Up. I'm ready. Uh, my chair's low, though. Hold on. Well, it was too high when Damon was here. Yeah. He likes to lift Damon, the... Damon keeps his chair <laughs> the height of the table. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. He likes it really high. Here's here's the joke of the week. Okay. Um, now, bear with me. I... I met, uh, well, I knew of two cell tower antennas, and they were deeply in love with one another. <laughs> and so I went to their wedding. They got married. I went to their wedding. The ceremony wasn't much, but the reception was incredible. I don't get it. Cell tower antennas. The reception <laughs> was good. <laughs> okay. Good recept like, you know what I mean? Like the wedding reception? The the cell. Oh, okay. The reception. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, I had to. I. The reason why I was a little hesitant, I have one that I want to deliver to. Okay. Yep. Again, um, my joke guy, Jacob, sent me this one to make sure that I read tonight with you because this will probably be my last chance as Greg will be back. Have you heard about the um, claustrophobic astronaut? I've not. He was just looking for some space. <laughs> okay. Go. I, I heard Duke laugh back there. Uh, he he kind of chuckled a little bit, yeah. right? All right. Cole's joke of the week. What does uh, Jim and Columbus say? I can't read it. Can you read it? Uh, he says, Cole, okay, I get it. Funny. <laughs> All right. We got some, uh, we got some, I think, rolling in. Cole's joke. Get a nine for delivery, eight for funny, and ten for effort. Give you one guess who that's go. from. Crypto. Yes, Crypto King. Crypto has always had my back. Oh, he, he's Cole's number one fan, I feel like. All right. I was hoping Cole's would be a B joke. That was from Art in Los Angeles. Since it was all about cell towers, I give it a five. And Jessica, that was funny. You get a 10. <laughs> Crypto wanted you, the guys in the chat were hoping you'd do something surrounding the cold and being freezing and all that kind of stuff here. But, you know. There's always next week. Always next week. Okay, here we go. They're rolling in. Ethan gives you, I'm going to give it a 10 just for the fact Jessica didn't get it at first, LOL. <laughs> Dry said, I give both of them a 7. Justin said, delivery 6 and 8 for funny. No, wait. What is it? Delivery 8 for funny. Okay. Crypto said, I love Cole. You got oh, some fans in the chat. They were disappointed nice. you weren't there. Tim in Minnesota, what does he say? Can you read that? 8.5 could have been higher, but it had it had to be explained. So that's not on that's not on <laughs> well, me. Well, it kind of was like I was also trying to pull up my joke too, so um, I was I should have been more locked in and ready to go. I should have been more ready for my joke. But all right, cool. There you go. We'll be back again next week. Thank you. Eight and a half for me. I love Cole. Nine nine and ten. Nine out of ten for you from Andy in Phoenix. All right, good stuff. Uh, it's been a fun week. We made it. We survived without Greg. He was in Hong Kong. If you weren't listening in throughout the week, Damon, that's what Damon called it, Hong Kong. So he'll be back on Monday. We've got a full week of shows coming up for you next week. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great weekend, everybody, and uh, go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Experience the thrill of the open road with Woodhouse Chevy. Whether it's the city streets or rugged terrain, Woodhouse Chevy delivers an unparalleled experience. Save up to $13,000 off MSRP on the 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT. Visit us in store or online anytime to shop our current offers and view our large inventory. Find new roads with Woodhouse Chevy with approved credit. $179 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires 131-2024. See dealer for details. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle